Hi, it's Chicken Bone John here in the UK. I've got a bit of a cold, but I'm going to do a little talk about cigar box guitars and the action. The action means the height of the strings above your fingerboard. Now, I think there's a few misconceptions about, uh, among some people who are building guitars. I'm just going to run through a few bits and pieces. I'm going to show you. Here's one of my guitars, which has got uh, a bone nut. I've got a couple of others. Um, Here's another one, which like we do with the Homegrown Music Collective kits, with um, a machine screw as the nut. Okie doke. Generally speaking, I try to build my guitars with as low an action as possible. Whether I'm building them fretted or fretless. And that means I'm able to play them with a slide and with my bare fingers. If we look at this guitar here, see if I can get that in, uh, in shot for you. You can see, uh, hopefully you'll be able to see, the action at, over the, at the nut, over the, fr over the frets, is about a millimeter. Okay, you know, and this one's set up quite high, because there we are on, I think there's a 12th fret there, we're about three millimeters high. Now that's pretty high, it still allows me... to fret it, no problem, and I'm playing this acoustically so you'll hear any rattles on the frets or whatever. The great thing about this is you can play slide, and do things like this with just a bar fret. Or so you can do both your slide and your fretting. You do not need really high action for playing slide. A little bit higher than an ordinary guitar. If you look at the way an ordinary acoustic or electric guitar is set up, the strings will only just be above the frets here and at the 12th fret they might only be about a millimetre and a half on a really well set up fast playing guitar. Let's look at it another way. I'll take another guitar um, here's, here's another one. Now the action on this is set up a teeny bit lower and I think I measured this and it's about two millimeters at the 12th fret. That's the normal place to measure it. And down here at the nut I've got barely a millimeter clearance. Doesn't rattle and it's nice and easy. for doing this stuff and I can still play slide without it clunking. Okie doke. So if you want to use a machine screw, I've got one here from my good friend Mike Snowden in the States. Uh, and as you can see, if I can get that into shot, I think we've got a couple of mil at the 12th fret and down here you can see is use a small diameter machine screw that looks like uh, a three millimeter or whatever the, <coughs> the uh, pound shilling and pence feet and inch equivalent is but if you can see that's set into the fretboard and it's giving me again a millimeter maximum and it plays fine For slide and of course it's great to play fretted. Okay, don't say if you're making a fretless guitar you may think it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll show you one here. This is straight off and I've not fiddled this. This is one of the, uh, the sort of homegrown music collective kit guitars and as you can see the action here, if I actually measure, I'll measure it I think I've got actually about four millimeters between the strings and the fretboard at the 12th fret and if I measure it here let's get it into the light my about two millimeters on the other ones I was measuring to the top of the fret rather than the, the wood this is just marked up with a paper paper strip so the action isn't particularly high this one has got <coughs> excuse me a five millimeter bolt 
and it's set you can see it's set about two thirds into the neck so that's only going to leave me with two millimeters if that sticking out which means I can play with the slide comfortably without hitting the fretboard and as long as your neck is reasonably straight it's not going to buzz on the frets and it still means you can play with your fingers you think well why do I want to do that again? So I can still play with my fingers without ha without having to use the slide and sometimes you can get a really cool tone it's a different sort of sound to play there it's more difficult doing that sort of double stop things but there's still a lot you can you need to use your ears a little bit more these are really you can usually only use these as a guide but here's something which I commonly see and I'm prompted to sort of do this little video because I, I, I looked at a guitar the other day and it was very strange because it was fretted which sort of assumed you needed to get the frets down to the fretboard but here, it had an enormous bolt. That's an 8mm bolt. And as you can see, the frets are about six milli 5 or 6 millimeters, 6 millimeters above the fretboard. Now, when I looked at one that I got up, it must have been a 10 or 12 mil bolt. They were even higher than that. And it's sort of fine for playing slide. But even the most heavy-handed of person, person is not going to be pressing those fret that those strings down to the fretboard. There's no danger. There's there's no danger of the slide pressing those down against the, the strings and creating a buzz. So you can take that right the way down to two or one millimeter or even less, and it'll still play, and it'll be still playable with your slide and your fingers. Now, bear in mind this is one with a 6mm nut which is set at way too high really. There are a lot of people who are using very, very big nuts here. Oh, that's an 8mm as I said. I've seen people using what look like 10 or 12mm bolts. And the thing is, it's really difficult. You can manage up here to get the... But the thing is, because the action's so high... You're having to pull the strings down and it pulls it instead of instead of it playing in tune, an octave there. It's sharp, so, so I have to move my finger back to get it in tune. It gets worse the closer to the nut you, you get because you're, you're deflecting it even more proportionately. So it should sound. Do re mi, yeah. If I play on the frets, it's playing sharp all the time. So to compensate that, I have to move back. I've had to get my first full tone. I've had to come back to the semitone position. That sh that should be the fourth fret, but I'm almost down on the third. I'm way back from the seventh fret, so it's playing sharp. If this was set much lower, much lower than that, it would play in tune properly when I fretted it and I'd be able to do simple bar chords. I'm wrestling it. I've got fairly strong fingers. <coughs> Excuse me. At the fifth, at the seventh, <coughs> and the seventh, uh, seventh of the fifth, I'm wrestling the strings down. And I would compensate the closer I go to the to the nut. So whether you're using a traditional sort of luthier's approach, 
of using a bone nut or that sort of simpler using a machine screw as a nut and irrespective of whether it's fretless or fretted you want to be setting that nut as low as you can get it once you're above say <coughs> excuse me a millimeter above the frets or take or two millimeters above the uh, fingerboard if it's fretless it's going to be harder and harder to get the strings down the only exception is if you're playing purely lap style with the slide going on like that uh, if this action's so high you're just making it more and more awkward to play accurately so I would say when you put your, nut, put, put your nut on your guitars, even if it's fretless, and even if you think you only want to play slide, try lowering it. If the, when you lower it, not only will you be able to play slide, if I get this one where it is lowered, it's a strong about with lighter strings so it will sound, sound higher. No rattles, no buzzers, because I'm still, I've still got two millimeters, and I have to be pretty heavy-handed with the slide to get that to touch the fingerboard. But so the beauty of it is, it means playing with my fingers. It's still playing in tune, and it's still manageable. Obviously, it's easier the the the, the, the further up the fretboard you go, but it's really cool even with the fretless, to be able to so even with the fretless it's really cool to be able to use your fingers as well having high action really compels you to using only the slide which does limit what you can play and actually I believe it will inhibit your playing from getting any better okie doke as people will no doubt point out in the cigar box guitar world there are no, there are no rules so if you want to make yourself your guitar with monster high action that that's fine but if you're wondering why your guitar plays out of tune or it might be a bit difficult or you can't do as fancy tunes as some of your other uh, some of the people you've seen Think about how, how you, you, you're setting the action. Um, I know they're different for, to, to ordinary guitars, but you can still set them up pretty much close to what a conventional acoustic or electric guitar will, will, uh, will play like. So why not give it a go? Okie doke, bye for now.